Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. Today I'm going to just touch on a subject that is potentially very inflammatory for a lot of people. Again, I tend to be very CAD neutral and I try to find the tool that does the best job uh, for a specific purpose. Today's talk is going to talk, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, sweep and katia and what's called sweat in uh, NX. And just do a quick little comparison and who I think has the more powerful tool and go from there. Now, again, um, please leave some comments, ask your questions and so on and so forth. I'm not going to cover every single everything within each one of those tools. This is just to give you an idea of capabilities and such in a comparison between the two. Now, uh, within Katia, we go into the sweep function and you'll notice that within sweep I have these uh, predefined shapes, line, circle, and conic. I'm not going to talk about those. These shapes exist in NX under the section surface function, and I've talked a little bit about those. What I want to talk about is under profile type is called explicit. So with the explicit type sweep, you'll notice that I have uh, three various options. I have with reference surface, two guide curves, and pulling direction. So with reference surface, for instance, you pick your profile, you pick your guide, and if you leave everything as is, it's your preview, it sweeps that shape along that guide. Now, if I come in here and specify a reference plane, for instance, okay, so here's my uh, YZ plane, I'll pick my YZ plane. What this does is now I can basically change the angle of that sweep. And I also can do a law, linear, we'll say zero to 29, Okay, so I have a very powerful tool in that I can take that shape. Uh, and maybe I'm doing a gasket or some sort of a seal around a windshield or on a door or something that needs to remain normal or perpendicular to that surface as it sweeps. So this allows me to do that. Great, great tool. Uh, the next option I have is with two guide curves. So with this, I no longer have that law option, but I have a second guide curve. So when I pick my second guide curve, in this case, preview, you'll see that this now sweeps and this always uses a spine in the sweep so that's why this is falling short that little message that popped up is saying well this sweep doesn't long, run along the full length of those curves one of them it's falling short on or both of them so I can change my spine if I want to let me go ahead and hide show my axis system and um, for that I'll use my extra or I'm sorry my Y direction and now when I preview, again, it's going to come up with, hey, this doesn't touch, or one guide has been, been real limited. It's saying uh, one of these guides doesn't touch, and it's showing you which one. That's all that, that, that means. So now that section is remaining perpendicular to this spine. And you'll notice that as it sweeps, it automatically scales this, the, that section bigger or smaller based off of the distance from each of the two curves. So for instance, if I hit OK and I come in here and I double click on this and I uh, bring this in, exit out, you'll see it changes how high that goes up. If I take this, double click on that, bring this in, exit out, you'll notice that it actually shrinks a little bit in this area. Okay, so it comes down because it's uniformly scaling that along those guides. So I have two uh, guides in that suite and that's what it does using that second guide as a uniform scale for that section. The third one is with a pulling direction and again if you have a, a guide you have your guide, you have your section and uh, uh, maybe you need to maintain this to a pulling direction in a specific vector. You have a surface, a crown surface and that needs to stay perpendicular to that surface. Okay, that's all that is. Pretty straightforward, simple. We can talk about that another time. And you also have, a, again, angle uh, capabilities with the, with the law. Now, NX. I'm going to go into NX. And here, I'm going to go into Swept. So with my Swept feature, I bring this over here, this is asking for my sections. Now, here with this swept tool, I can have as many sections as I want. I can have 100 sections, okay? I don't recommend it, but you can have dozens upon dozens of sections. Now, with each section that you add, 
you get fewer and fewer options in the menu. Okay, if I pick one section and let's say one guide, I have the most potential options, right, with scaling and angular law and all sorts of other things. You saw what I did with the Katia, where I pick one guide, one section, and as I sweep that section, I was able to rotate it and twist it, okay, along that guide. Now I can do the same thing in NX, which I'm going to show you. If I pick one section and I want one guide, You'll see there goes my model, there goes my part, and I'm going to turn on preserve shape so it keeps those sharp corners. So right now orientation is fixed. You'll see I have a bunch of these things. Okay, so I can specify force direction, uh, face normals, another curve, anything like that. So if I pick, let's say, that vector constant, and uh, let's see here, um, you'll notice that it's now sweeping based off of that vector direction. Okay, I also have um, another curve. All right, if I want to pick another curve, I can I can go off of that other curve. I also have the ability in here to use face normal. So if I have a surface, same exact thing as the other one, I can do that with that surface. You'll also notice that I have an, a scaling function. Okay, if I go to let's say Angular Law and I wanted to do a linear and we'll go from 0 to 29 for instance right you saw me do that in the other one I can do exactly the same thing here so I have those angular law values as well now um, one of the things that I can do just to make this simple just go to fixed is you'll see a scaling method I can come in here and say I want a constant scaling of 0.5 and what that does is it scales the entire sweep 0.5 I can make it bigger. Other things that I can do is if I need to, I can use an area law, a perimeter law. So if you have, let's say, various shapes for an HVA system, HVAC system, you can use those various shapes and just have it scale. It doesn't matter how big you make it. You can basically uh, determine an area law and have it scale. So there's a lot more that you can do with the swept function than you can with the sweep function out of Katia. So just with one guide, one curve, extremely powerful. Uh, I can't think of any tool that has a sweep or swept function like this that's as powerful as this. I think this is singularly the most powerful sweeping tool that I've ever seen on the market. And now, remember, I've worked with Alias. I've done a little bit of work with uh, Proly or Creo now. Um, obviously, Katia and some of the other CAD systems. And this one, by far, is the most powerful that I've ever run across. Now, um, I have a again a blending function. Maybe I want to go from 0.5 to 1, so I can I can do all sorts of stuff with just that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart this. I'm going to go back in, pick my section, pick my first guide, turn on preserve shape. Now with this, I want to pick my second guide, and you'll notice that it does exactly what Katia did in the sense of how it scales based off of those curves. So it has a uniform scale. As the curves grow further apart, the sweep gets bigger. Okay. Now, within NX, I have an option here, and it's called scaling method. It's uniform. I can say lateral. And using that lateral, what it does is it keeps the height of that section and all it does is it grows the section as it goes along those curves. You'll also notice that I didn't have to pick a spine string. Okay, This tool uh, did not, in this case, require a spine. I can pick a spine string if I want to, but it didn't require it. And in this case, what it does is it's forcing that shape along those two paths. Now, to do this in Katia, they, uh, they opened up multi-section surface to pick a, I think, uh, I, should verify this before I speak. Someone's going to tell me I'm an idiot. In the older versions, you couldn't do it. I do believe in the newer versions, you can pick a single section and pick two guides to sweep, similar to what I'm doing here. But you still have more capability in this swept function. So you can do some of this in Katia, but it's under a different operator. Some of it. Now, uh, something else that I have the capability of doing with uh, an X is you'll notice that I, ha I just showed another curve scaling method ladder I can say use another curve I want to scale based off of that curve and what this does is as you can see it uses that curve to determine what scale it's going to be all right so as the curve gets bigger smaller the height of this thing is going to grow or decrease based off of that curve now um, 
something else that you can do with this is I'm just going to say uniform, right? You can see the difference between uniform and, and using that other curve is if I go into guides, you'll notice I can pick up to three guides. So with that, um, I'm going to come in here and I want to add a new set. That new set's going to be this curve. So that curve is no longer used specifically just for scaling. It's now uh, also changing the shape of my sweep. So with the NX swept tool, I can pick uh, one section, two sections, 10 sections, 30 sections, and up to three guides. You'll notice that once I pick that third guide, I have fewer and fewer options. I no longer have any scaling methods. I no longer have any of the orientation methods. That third guide nails it down. So the more guides you pick, the less options you have. You're constraining it further. So here you can see that swept tool, um, very powerful. Again, the most powerful sweeping tool I've ever used. Now, uh, within V5, if you have an additional license called like uh, FSO, Freestyle Optimizer, uh, FSS within the freestyle workbench and uh, I think it's the FSO work uh, tool within the FSS you have additional mesh net tools that can sort of mimic what I'm doing here okay again they're very powerful um, I don't have that license so I can't really show it but it, they aren't tools that are used by many people stylists may use them and things of that nature where you have some control over what's going on with the section as it's going along that the the guide curves that you specify and you can pick multiple sections and pick multiple guides um, uh, there are some shortcomings with that tool as well so within v5 you have all sorts of tools that will sort of mimic what's going on with the swept function but within swept if i'm using once again just a uh, simple let me come in here swept if i'm using just one section and one guide, you'll notice once again that I have so many options with orientation and scaling. And of course, I can make this a surface or a solid sheet body. Or so, um, and there's various splitting options and so on. So, uh, to me, the champion for sweeping functions, there's other sweeping for style sweep here. There's also uh, adaptive sweep and Katia. Those are very powerful tools. We'll get into those another day. Um, but the champion just base sweep function of all CAD systems is going to be an X. This by far is the most powerful tool, the most useful tool for sweeping that I've ever seen in any CAD system. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, please like the video and subscribe. Share with your friends. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or uh, private message me. I've had a few questions, comments. I'll get to some of those things like mid-surface here in the, uh, uh, in the next uh, uh, few days and such. But uh, uh, you can uh, private message me. I've gotten several of those as well. And uh, you can do that if you subscribe. So please do. Thanks again.